Hi, I'm Joe. And I made a beer recipe using ChatGPT. I want to know if it's any good. So I'm here today at Big Shed Brewery. I'm going to brew that beer and I'm going to give it to a beer judge to decide. But creating a recipe using ChatGPT doesn't start at the brewery. It starts behind a computer. So the command I gave ChatGPT was give me a recipe for an American black IPA to be made on a 50 liter system. And it spat something out straight away. But then I had a light bulb moment. Light bulb. Most beer competitions and beer judges around the world use the US Brewers Association style guidelines to influence their judging. I'm very easily influenced by music. This is important for us for two reasons. One, it's what our judge is gonna use as criteria when she's scoring it. And two, well, the world's largest annual beer competition is coming up in Melbourne in a few weeks and I think we should submit this beer. So naturally, I typed this into ChatGPT and like almost astonishingly, it adjusted the recipe perfectly. <laughs> so one of the cool things by adding this refinement to our recipe is that it significantly increased our likelihood of the beer judge scoring it really high. May the odds be ever in your favor. And us, maybe potentially winning an award at the ARBAs. Now, for all you beer nerds out there, Nerd! you might be wondering what hops are going into this beer. So ChatGPT has given us a Magnum hops, Cascade hops, Centennial hops, and Citra hops. So it's an IPA, it's gonna be hoppy. Hop, hop, hippity hop. Every good beer needs a great name and awesome artwork. So we relied on ChatGPT to help us out with that as well. We went with backwards and forwards and tried to find an original name and we landed on Tech Noir, Tech Black. So AI Black, AI Black IPA, pretty good. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. It was actually pretty clever. It's pretty intuitive and happened really quickly. Then it came to the artwork. That was a little bit more tricky and took a bit more backwards and forwards, but we finally landed on this artwork and I think it looks amazing, particularly superimposed on a can. Now we've done everything we need to behind the computer. Let's go to Big Shed Brewing and actually make this beer. Well, now we've got a recipe, we've actually got to brew this beer and we're not brewing it on this kit. This kit makes 4,000 liters at a time. And well, we don't need that much beer. We're gonna need more beer. So we're gonna brew it on a much smaller system. We've got their pilot system here. This makes 50 litres of beer at a time. And I say we are gonna brew it because I'm definitely not a brewer. As you can tell, because I wore white shoes into a brewery. Don't you know you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day? But we got the help of an amazing brewer, so let me introduce him. We've got James here, who's a brewer here at Big Shed. We've got very serious, we've got our uh, safety vests on because safety first. You can actually come to Big Shed Brewery here in Adelaide and do this very similar experience. Okay, so the recipe gave us five types of grain to use in this beer. Uh, luckily for me, James has already got it all, all ready to go. Uh, he's got it in all the correct quantities. And we're gonna use this tiny, tiny miller so we can mash it in. It's much smaller than the system they use usually. That's what she said. This is the big mill compared to our little drill mill. Uh, there's 3,000 kilos of grain. Here's the mill versus what we're using. They use up to 500 to 800 kilos at a time in different beers, we're using four kilos. Uh, so today we've started off with milling our grain, um, crushing it up, adding to it a bunch of water um, into our first vessel here. So this is a combined mash and lauder ton. This is our hot liquor vessel. So all the hot water that we use in the process is gonna come in this vessel. And then we've got our combined kettle and whirlpool. Right now we've got the grain um, stirring around with our water. We're gonna separate the grain from the water uh, and that's gonna make a liquid called wort. That's gonna then filter into our kettle. We're gonna boil it, we're gonna add hops, uh, a few other ingredients. We're gonna spin it around, separate that into a fermentation vessel, uh, let it sit for a few weeks, filter it out. That's gonna be it, we can try from there. Okay, we're mid-brew. James has got it under control. But I thought we'd take a moment to just sort of I figure out what this chat GPT thing means for brewers in the beer industry. Does it mean that brewers are going to be replaced? Is chat GPT going to take over this? I don't think so. James is doing a hell of a lot of work. It might impact creativity. It might be an efficiency thing in creativity. I even heard of one brewery typing in all their leftover ingredients and ChatGPT spitting out a recipe that they can use. So, I mean, in that sense, it's good for sustainability of ingredients and utilization of products. Long and short of it, I think I'm thinking about it too deeply. I think it's just gonna be a great beer and I can't wait to taste it.
Brewing is far more complicated than I give it credit for, but in simple terms, and I'm a simple man, we've done four main things today. So we've done the mashing, which is putting the grain in, we've done the lauder, which is the filtration and uh, transfer of the liquid. Now we're doing the boil, which we're gonna add hops to. And then the final process is really putting it into a fermentation vessel and letting the yeast do the rest. So the brew day is complete. There's still some stuff that needs to happen, however. The beer's gonna be doing a few things over the next three weeks. A maturation, filtration, dry hopping, and then ultimately filtering until we're back here with a beer judge deciding if our beer, our chat GPT beer, is better than the competition. If you like beer merch as much as me, you can head on to beerfans.com.au and shop across a hundred beer brands. If you use our code, link in the description and on the bottom of the screen, you'll receive 10% off. Now it's time to introduce you to our beer judge, Brioni. Brioni has a company called Flavor Logic, which helps anyone become a better taster. But today, she's our internationally renowned beer judge. We're gonna leave her to it and come back and she's gonna tell us if this is gold, silver or bronze worthy. Judging process is complete. Brony, how do we go? Judging a beer, you need to break it down into separate parts. Firstly, you break down the sensory profile into its appearance, how it looks. This is a solid black opaque colour, like a black IPA should be. Really good lasting foam. So three out of three for appearance. Anthony for three, puts it in! I spend most time on aroma. Aroma's 80% of what you taste as flavor is actually aroma. The aromas here are light to moderate intensity overall, um, getting some good American hoppy characters like pine and citrus. And from the malt profile, there's a bit of uh, roastiness uh, that's not burnt. So yeah, pretty good aroma. Give me a three out of five aroma. Flavour and body, this is where most of the points come in. Six points out of 20 are awarded to flavour and body. As I tasted it, I still got the same characters from the aroma. I think it's pretty well balanced, some good drinkability. But yeah, I think the colour's really good. Give it a four and a half out of six. The last two sections of the score are technical quality. I'll give that a three. I'm not getting any obvious defects at all. The style. Is it a good example of a black IPA? I would say it's a black IPA. If I gave technical quality three and style three, I'm getting a 16 and a half out of 20. That would be a high silver. <gasps> There'd be some judges on a panel who might want to push that up to a gold. It's almost there. Scraping for a dirty gold, as they say. <laughs> Very good drinkable black IPA. Well made. Well, cheers to that. Uh, I mean, uh, ChatGPT can make a silver medal quality beer. My mind's blown, but we want to put that to the test. So we've actually got this beer. We've submitted it into the AIBAs. You have to like and subscribe to follow the next video to see how we go at that beer event. But for now, next time I see you, it's your round. Cheers. I hope I got the score right. <laughs>